Well, as we just heard, we're still in the thick of it in Wisconsin, and the first results do seem promising. But our iTeams Nicole Herzog has been looking at incentives around the country and finding a mixed bag of results. Come in with the card. Here's your encouragement. It doesn't get much better than free beer. There you go. Thank or so you. New Jersey found out early on in their vaccine reward program. The state's seven-day vaccination rate rose by 13% after announcing that incentive. Not quite the same result in Connecticut, where the seven-day average dropped from 40,000 to 33,000 after a similar incentive. Overall, results are mixed depending on type and timing. But there are some reasons to worry that incentives could backfire in some of these situations. Sometimes when you're offering an incentive, it signals that the thing you're trying to incentivize might not be that appealing. So that is a slight concern. Take California, for example. 18. Mendocino. 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 Governor Gavin Newsom said his Vax for the Win lottery program increased rates by 22%. But health experts in California say there's other reasons, like the Memorial Day weekend, that could have influenced rates. And in Michigan, a million-dollar lottery incentive barely moved the needle, from 61.82% vaccination rate to 62% a week after the announcement. The biggest thing, we don't know what rates would have looked like without an incentive. The government is being very responsible in adding this as one more thing to try to tip the scale Health experts say the, the cost and the effort is worth a try. And the costs that, you know, we face socially and individually, right. if we get sick, uh, all the health care costs, all the stress on all of our other services, people can't go to work, they lose income. Uh, other people are affected who have been working or studying close by. But when incentives come in the middle of a public health emergency, ethical factors come into play. It makes the rest of us who willingly went and got the vaccine uh, think like, why should somebody else get a hundred bucks? And uh, now all of a sudden they're gonna get a reward. So I think that's damaging to the social fabric. A concern the state of Wisconsin has its own answer for. They have been protected against COVID-19 this whole time. In Madison, Nicole Herzog, News 3 Investigates.